How's it going, Destructors? It's me again. Welcome to the third episode of Commercial Condemnation. I've actually had a lot of people saying that they really like the series. Um, my friends like it, and a lot of actually other people like it that aren't my friends, that are, you know, my fans on YouTube, and I, I appreciate that. I really appreciate you guys being so supportive of this series. Um, it means a lot to me. There's something I was trying out because Bames John is actually coming to an end. Um, actually, I should specify, the season is coming to an end. The series is not. The series will still be going. Season one of Bames John will be coming to an end, though, however. Um, soon, I'm planning on filming a little bit this weekend, hopefully. And then, um, if not, I'll film the rest next weekend. Um, and I'm going to take my time editing and whatnot, so that way it can look really good for you guys. Um, I might make a video explaining a little bit more, um, but basically what you need to know, Season 1, Bames John, Series Finale, is coming up soon, or Season Finale, sorry, uh, is coming soon. Be on the lookout for that. It'll probably be in, I'm assuming it'll be here before the end of October. Um, actually, I know it will be. But anyways, let's get on to our first commercial. This first commercial is a toy uh, for kids, obviously. I don't think there is toys for adults. Uh, and yeah, uh, we're not gonna go into that. Anyways, so yeah, this is a kid's toy that you, this commercial you'll also again see on channels like Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, and Cartoon Network. This is a monkey that has, toy monkey that has some robotics in it, so you know, it moves around a bit. Let's just say, it's not as cute and cuddly as you might think when you hear the word monkey. Check it out. My best friends are for real friends. Cuddles and me, yeah, we monkey around. Yeah, we're laughing out loud. Moving around just like a real monkey. She really turns to cuddle with me. <laughs> my kid, monkey. You cuddle. Batteries not included. My best friends are for real. That is one of the worst looking toys I've ever seen. Yeah, um, in my personal opinion, that monkey is not realistic at all. That's my first major problem. Monkey is not realistic. Now I know what you're thinking. What makes this monkey not realistic, huh? Well, you want to know what makes this monkey not realistic? Go ahead, guess. No, not the color of its fur. Good guess, though. No, not the fact that it moves around very, very little. No. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. If you want to make this monkey look realistic, here's what I need to see. I need to see at least a couple of pieces of feces flying. Monkeys throw poop. It's just the way it works. I don't see any poop anywhere in this commercial. Actually, scratch that. I see poop everywhere in this commercial. This monkey is poop. So there is feces in this commercial. <laughs> Although I can see why they wouldn't make this monkey throw poop. Not just because it's a toy. Because if they did, then this commercial would be pretty crappy. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, that was a good one. Anyways, this toy, it's not really freaky, it's just kind of dumb. Because honestly, what other animals are they going to make robotics out of? They make babies, baby everything. Why does there have to be a baby monkey? I know monkeys are all cute and cuddly and blah, 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 blah. Again, monkeys throw poop. That's not cute. Although it is pretty cool, if you think about it. Us humans don't throw poop. Most of us, anyways. Although there are a lot of people that I want to throw poop at. Let's not get into that. But anyways, this commercial I just thought was kind of weird. Not, well, not really weird. Just kind of dumb, because this monkey is not realistic at all. That is actually a pretty short one. So, let's go on to our second commercial. Alright, this commercial was suggested to me by my friend, the same one who suggested the titty bear from last episode. If you have not seen that episode, you can click the annotation that appears on the video right here. Um, so yeah, this product is something for golfers. Fair enough, right? Wait till you see what it is. 
drank a lot of water. I really have to go. People are waiting to tee off. There's no restroom out here. Has this happened to you? I've got the perfect gift. Introducing the Euro Club, the discreet sanitary solution for your urgent relief. It looks like an ordinary golf club, but contains a reservoir built into the grip to relieve yourself. The Euro Club comes with a towel and appears that you are just checking out your club. Leak proof, easy to clean, and no embarrassing moments. Order now. The Euro Club, the only club in your bag guaranteed to keep you out of the woods. Seriously, people, a P trap for your golf club? Yes, because this does not look suspicious at all. Oh, that guy totally doesn't look like he's peeing. Yeah, very discreet there, sir. It totally doesn't look like you're holding a golf club up to your wiener. Seriously, dude. Actually, no, it's not even the guy's fault. It's the people who designed this. This is not discreet, okay? It, it, if anything, it just looks creepy. And also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that most country clubs or golf, you know, what do you call it? Golf course, sorry, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. I'm pretty sure most golf courses or country clubs or whatever the heck you want to call them, I'm pretty sure that most of them have bathrooms. This is the 21st century, people. We do have a thing called a toilet or a urinal. We do have those things, you know. Why is this guy going in the bush? Why is this guy going into a golf club? Why is this commercial so freaking weird? I don't know. So many questions that are left unanswered. But guys, seriously, this commercial, <laughs> it really does make me laugh because what is the point? Then what are you gonna do once your club is filled with pee? What are you gonna do, go swing? Your pee's gonna go flying everywhere. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be good at all. It's just gonna be gross. You're gonna have pee all over you, and you're gonna be sticky and nasty, and you're gonna smell like urine, and yeah. If I had one of these things, I'd probably just hit people with it with my pee in it, because it'd be funny because it'd be peed on. Yeah. But anyways, this episode was a little short, but that's all the time I have for today. If you guys have any suggestions of commercials that you want me to review, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, be sure to like this video, uh, hit me up on my Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus account. All those links are in the description, or you can hit me up on my website as well. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and as always, remember to stay in the path of destruction.